Hello. Welcome back to Tanks Cooks. It's the close of 4th of July weekend, and uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing something a little different. We're making bison burgers, yes? Bison burger made from ground buffalo meat. It's supposed to be a little bit leaner. It's, it's, it's expensive as hell. Raised without antibiotics, no added hormones, minimally produced, no artificial ingredients. Federal regulations prohibit the use of hormones in bison. You know, bison is uh, an American animal, of course, uh, hunted by the Indians, of course. They ate them, but uh, it's, it's a fairly new delicacy. Uh, you know what? Uh, what did the uh, bison? What did the buffalo say? To his son when he went off to college. Bye, son. <laughs> Brum -bum -bum it's 90% lean, this bison meat. It says, uh, why are bison? We are the champions for bison producers. We vertically integrate. We put food quality and safety first. So this is some bison meat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it together right now. We're gonna make some bison patties. And uh, one of the best ways to make these things stick together and emulsify is have them chill in the refrigerator after they're mixed together. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix, uh, mix this together now, make them into patties now, and save for later. Of course, you'll see the time jump when I edit this together, but let's get this bison meat in a bowl and we'll start mixing it together. Bison. We're making bison burgers. Da, 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 da. Why is this thing not cutting open? Bison burgers. Bison burgers. Open up you package now. There we go, finally. Pick the meat apart a little bit. Alright, so we can add our spices. Now one thing we need to add is breadcrumbs to help keep it juicy. I got that stupid fucking King George song stuck in my fucking head. That's, that's of course, you know, of course you had to put the accent. Just a little more accents. And of course the lemon pepper. We'll put this garlic and parsley mix in as well. Let me see. We'll put just a little of this nice pepper in. Don't want to make it too nice -y. Something else I want to put in here. Ah, yes. This is the stuff you get from Red Robin that they put on the table you put on your burger at the beginning. I'm going to put this, because I ordered them one time from, uh, boy, it got kind of stuck there. Got stuck, uh, but I ordered them, and they sent this to Reet. So, we're going to put these burgers together, mix this stuff up. 
Mixing up the bowl and see what we want to see. Why isn't this mixing in? I should have probably picked a bigger bowl. Come on, mix it, mix it, come on. I think I'm gonna need a bigger bowl. coming together. La -da 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 -da, yeah, da -da 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 -da. Gonna need a bigger bowl. Yeah, I should have grabbed a bigger bowl. Let me clean this off. I think we got it together though now. All nice together. Everything mixed together. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some chunks and make them into burger patties. One. Bison burgers here. You know what? I could actually probably let me see. Take some here, take some here. Yeah. Yeah, that's even better. Make a fourth one. Take a little more off of this one. This way, you can make two meals out of it. Yeah, there you go. Four bison burgers. We'll be putting this into the fridge to chill. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, da -da 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 -da. Covering them up with saran wrap. Do you remember uh, there was a football player who played for Alabama, later played for the uh, Eagles briefly. He wasn't a very good NFL player. His name was Saran Stacy. They, his mother actually named him after saran wrap. All right, so we'll put these in the fridge, and we'll cook them when we're hungry. But at least they'll be getting together. They'll be... Uh, Nicely formed, and they should hold together when we cook on our electric grill tonight. So, stay tuned. We are back. We let these uh, bison burgers... Uh, chill in the fridge and now we've had them at room temperature for uh, about 20 minutes so what we're going to do is now we're getting ready to put on the grill and the grill is nice and hot and ready and of course we're going to put our buns on the grill which was an, I wish I had a real grill I wish I had charcoal I'd even settle for fucking propane but in this fucking apartment I have no other choice but to use this Hamilton Beach electric grill. It's not the same, but it's as close as I can get. So what we'll do is we'll put our buns on the grill, get them toasted. So we, uh, have, we like to have toasted buns. That's the best thing about barbecue season. 
toasted buns. And of course, when we put our rolls back, we gotta put this thing back on. Hey, it actually went on! Surprise! Okay, so we're gonna take two of these bison burgers. La de be bison burgers. See, they should hold together because they were in the uh, fridge for a couple hours. Bison burgers. Bison burgers. And we'll save these other two for some other time. We'll close our lid. Actually, we need to do a little magic accent. And we'll close the lid. And we'll tell Alexa to check it in in five minutes. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Okay, let's see how our bison burgers are cooking. We'll smash them down a little bit. And then we'll flip. Smash and flip. Lift and smash. See if our buns are nice and toasty yet. Yeah, they're toasted. We got our buns toasted. We can take these off. Uh, hey, Fanabla. And there we go. Each. We can actually move this over here now that we took the buns off. And then we put them on for another five minutes, and then we'll see how they look. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes. Sorry. Okay, now that we're back, we could. Uh, I'm gonna actually put cheese on one of these. I'm gonna crush and flip again. In fact, I'm going to put cheese on this one right here. Turn off the heat and just let the cheese melt for about a minute while I grab my fries. In fact, I can turn this ding and the jig off. Da, 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 time. I still got that fucking song stuck in my head. Da, 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 Look how nice and brown these fries came out of the air fryer. All right. Cheese should be about melted. And then we can start plating the meal. Our bison burger. Time to plate the meal. I'll take the one off that's got no cheese. Time to plate the meal. Put some salt on our fries. Time to play the meal. Of course, we'll be having some 4th of July uh, Mountain Dew Liberty Brew. Time to play the meal. Time to play the meal. Time to play the meal, we'll put a little salt on our bison burger. Time to plate the meal. All right, I guess that's melted enough. Don't you think that's melted enough? Woom, 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 woom. Time to plate the meal. Put a little salt underneath here. 
Time to play the meal. Time to play the meal. Okay, we'll see how these bison burgers came out. First, the un cheesed one. And it tastes just like a hamburger. And it's a little leaner. Now we'll go with the cheese bison burger. Excellent. I actually think the cheese adds a little something to this one. So this might be something that you might be better off using cheese. Which I do about maybe 20% of the time, if that. And of course, the fries are the. Their fire come out perfect. So there you go.